Hey, this is my first live video. I'm going to do two things. I'm going to show you how I tie this fly that looks like a mosquito hawk. And I'm going to show you how I make the legs. So, I'm going to turn this around now. Here is my fly. This is what I'd like to tie another one of. It has a long foam body. Some grizzly hackle feathers. Some legs. And that's the legs I'm going to try to make. And then uh, palmer hackle there. Um, so let me take this off. Put on a new hook. Not a very big hook, as you can tell. Use olive colored thread. Start with a little base layer. This is just a little piece of craft foam, like it is. I've trimmed off to a point. You can also come in and burn that at the end to make a sharper point, however you want to do it. Come in here. And just wrap the body on. And wrap it till it squishes down. Go back a little further with this. As long as you want that body, make sure it stays on top of the hook. I tied the last one with this head left over, but I think I'm just going to cut that off now. Clean that up. And if you make the tail, the the body too long, you can always trim it off. Whatever length, I'm gonna leave it there. This is the part that's um, was interesting, and the reason that I'm actually that I actually tied this fly is I wanted to learn how to make these legs, and I'm using a pheasant tail feather. But these are the legs that I tied, so I'm gonna cut off four of those. Usually these these legs you can buy at the store. You can buy the whole feather, and they're all tied. But I decided I wanted to try to make some, and I realized why people buy them because it wasn't very easy to make that knot. So I just tie this on, let that hang back, and I would imagine you could easily tie something like a cockroach. Or a cricket, or whatever kind of a spider, any kind of bug that would have these kind of legs. They're very hairy looking. Because these pheasant tails, if you imagine a barb on a feather, um, it's like a very, very small version of that. Town four legs. I'm going to alternate them a little bit. Again, these are pheasant tail barbs from a feather, pheasant tail feather. You can use these barbs for other things like a pheasant tail nymph, um, beadhead nymph, things like that. Uh, next thing is going to be tying in the hack, the um, grizzly hackles. We're going to use these for wings. So I'll tie, I'll take this and strip it back. Like that. Sorry, it's a little bit blurry. I'm gonna make it about the length of the body. Let me come back a little more. There. Snip this off to make it a little easier to work with. Okay, so there we go, that'll work. I'm not real picky about how I tie these, how I tie flies in general. Um, sometimes the ugly ones are the ones that get the bites. So, just do a few turns there. Do 
to the side, tie on the other one in the same way. Another thing is these hooks are not necessarily fly tying hooks. The only time I really worry about whether I'm using actual fly tying hooks is if I'm tying a specific fly that has to float and the hooks that I have are too heavy. <clears throat> Otherwise I just use the cheap Walmart hooks like that, like 250 for however many hundred there are in there. So then I'm going to take a plain brown hackle very thin, there's not a lot of webbing there, except down at the end. I'm going to take that webbing off. Oop, almost knocked off my backdrop. Clean that off also. Tie this in here. up all these all these feather what do we call that the rib of the feather I guess and so I'm going to take this hackle and go ahead and use a hackle plier because I have a tendency to drop these I'm going to grab that palm right around oh, hit my camera Never done this in such tight quarters with the camera being right in front of me like this. Just go around and around until you get to the front. And cross this over. Behind it. And you can come in here and without cutting your string and carefully cut off the rest of that feather. Pull these back a little bit. Make a few wraps to kind of build a head. If there's any sticking out there, I'm going to cut those off later. So I'm going to make a half hitch. See if I can do it without grabbing a bunch of the barbs. One more time. And then I'm going to, you can do a whip finish. Um, I saw this type of finish with, um, Dave Camus, when I learned how to tie it, watching online videos, learned most of my steps from him and Davy McPhail. Go under it and over the finger again. Pull it down. Get it off. Go in and over and pull it through. Put it back where it was. Go in and over, pull it through again, I'm going to pinch here, pull it tight, it just helps keep it from catching those barbs, I'm going to do that again, go under, over the finger, I'm going to go through the first loop, grab the second one, pull it through, back where it was, I'm going to go through again, pull it through, and I pinch it here, and pull it down. And then there it is tied. And then snip off the trash. And then I'm going to use, some people will use um, super glue. You can also use what they call varnish or lacquer. Uh, it's fingernail polish. Just clear fingernail polish. Dab on the threads. Just like that. Try not to get it on the other feathers. If you do, you can... Just like this drop right here, just dab that off. 
And there's the finished fly. Now this is supposed to look like a dead mosquito hawk. So if things aren't laying exactly correctly, it's fine. But let's see, there's the finished fly. So the interesting thing for me on this one was these legs. These legs um, have the little knots in them to make a bend. And I wanted to learn how to make those. And so I thought, well, I'll make a video showing me using the legs. And then I'll make a video of how to make the legs. So now that I'm done with the fly, I'll take that away. So you have your pheasant tail. It's a very long feather. Um, the barbs are long all the way down. Of course, still longer when you get to the bottom. These are some that I've trimmed off that I've used already. There's a couple, the first couple that I tied when I was trying to figure it out. Once I figured it out, I went to the bottom and came back to the top. So, this is the hard part. Pull these down out of the way. Separate out just two little barbs. Once you get the little barbs, you hold it like that. I've also got a paper clip that I straightened out to use as a uh, as a um, dubbing tool, not dubbing, what's it called? A pointy tool so I can reach through the loop. So I'm going to take this and kind of give it a twist like that and then I'm going to hold that tight and take the two ends, pull them over in front of that loop. Once I get, so I can get inside the hole and pass the feathers, pass the points, like this, go in behind it, over it, and pull it through, and then I tie it, pull it into a knot, and then it makes my bug leg like a that. So, you can imagine how long that took me tying that one if you tied the whole feather and why you can go to the store and buy a whole feather tied like that already. So that's my fly tied and my bug legs. Hope you enjoyed it. I might do some more later. Bye y'all.